Okay, whenever you're ready. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities. Without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own self, you will never be successful or happy. This was said by Norman Vincent. For those of you who don't know Norm who Norman Vincent is, Norman Vincent was a minister and a writer known of his work of positive thinking and confidence. This quote means, if you don't believe that you can achieve your dreams, if you don't have dreams to pursue, you will never be successful, which is logical. The reason why this quote uh, um, connects to me because as I arrived here as an immigrant about three years ago, um, I didn't speak no English. And then when I went to high school, it was full of native speakers. And all they did is made fun of me of uh, the way I spoke, um, my cultural background probably. So I challenged everybody and I said, okay, well, we'll see from now three years and we'll see where I will get. So I ended up doing better than everybody, I ended up graduating early, and um, ended up out of high school by the age of 16. Here I am. Um, yeah, so that is it. So if you don't believe that you can achieve something or stay confident, you will never get whatever you, you want. Um, to start, I will start um, sharing my um, interest in John Jay why I chose John Jay and my career. I will also share some background <coughs> of mine and I will also um, discuss some clubs that I intend to join and, um, and my plans after graduation. So to start, my name is Monsef. Um, I immigrated to this country, as I said, three years ago. Um, I have three brothers. Uh, I'm the youngest one. Uh, I'm original French Algerian and um, yeah, the reason why I chose John Jay because um, John Jay has an excellent reputation. It's uh, very good for criminal justice because that's what I'm interested in. It's also located in Manhattan, five steps from my house. So I think it's pretty close to um, go from my house to school or probably find a job that's near um, in the city, I mean. Um, the reason why um, I chose criminal justice because as I grew up and I became more mature, I guess, um, I started realizing that most of us going on around the world is just violence. There's a lack of safety in our world. And as we don't realize this, it's affecting all of us. Even though we think, oh, we're here in America, we're protected, there's nothing going on. It's not just about America. It's about all the world that is being affected that they don't have the financial needs, the good techniques, the appropriate techniques to prevent this horrible aspect that's going on in our society. So my main goal is to learn more about the crimes and theories, as I said, to prevent this horrible aspect from our society. Also, to keep in track, I'm, I have to maintain a good GPA, maintain my focus in school, and um, qualify for good internships so later on it will reflect good in my academic profile. Um, to help achieve my goal, um, I intend to join uh, two clubs so I could stay in the right track. Uh, the first club is um, the boxing club. As most of you probably want to join the boxing club here, uh, the coach is Alberto Gote. I the the main reason why I want to go there is so I could speak to him and develop a close relationship, so I could learn why he moved from the NYPD department and started coaching here in John Jay because I feel like that's pretty interesting. Also, um, it's very helpful so you could. Um, sublimate your anger, fear, and anxiousness whenever you have it because that's what's going to keep you in the right track. That's what's going to keep you focused in school because if you're not, if you keep that anger all inside of you and you don't displace it, it's going to affect you emotionally and leave psychological scars in you. So um, that is one reason. Also, I want to stay healthy, stay in shape. So then um, if I become a police officer or FBI, so I could at least protect myself and the other civilians. I don't want to be scared. Um, 
another club that I intend to join is martial arts. Well, it's somehow related, but in, it's related in the way where I said you could easily sublimate your anger and um, anxiousness and fear if you ever, ever deal with those. Um, also, I want to learn the effective techniques and appropriate techniques of combat when I'm facing um, re critical real-life situations as a police officer later on. Um, also, it's going to help me develop my um, physical muscles. muscles. Yeah. <laughs> um, my plans after graduation is divided into two parts. The first one is Many people claim that law enforcement and um, criminal justice is too depressing because all you deal with is crime, basically, and um, criminals, murderers. So um, I said maybe I will go to law school. Um, uh, on Seth, I'm, go I'm going to ask you to move on to the conclusion. You're, you're almost at seven minutes, all right. and I wanted a two to three minute presentation. Right. A part of what we're going to be learning here is timing and making sure that when we rehearse we know how long we did it. I think you're doing great. It's just a little too long. Right. So if you can just skip to the conclusion, that would be All great. Right. Thank you. So in conclusion, um, John Jay is a great fit for me. I feel like in this environment I will develop a lot in my communication <coughs> skills and also in my professional skills. And also, how do you achieve all that? It's confidence. You gotta stay confident. You gotta believe in your own powers and you gotta achieve this. Because confidence is the key for success. Like Marcus Jarvey once said, if you, have, if you have no confidence in self, you will be twice defeated in the race of life. Thank you. Thank you. Nicely done. The only problem I think there was it just went, you, you need to time yourself, okay? okay. Um,